Folks, today I'm here on the block hole on the Castor River. It is Sunday, 28th or 29th, can't remember, 29th. And uh, my main concern is spawning running white bass that come out of the Mississippi up here all the way to the rapid here. And they are in full swing right now. Everybody I've talked to has been catching them. So it's a good sign. And I'm going to get on some of these white bass. It is a full moon in Scorpio. It should be a good day. for white bass with a bandit crankbait and just caught a nice walleye. Catch walleye on accident, but when I purposely fish for them, I can't get them. Imagine that. Wow. Not a bad one. I think it might actually be a saw guy, too. Let's see here. It could be. No, it's got a white tip. Complete white tip. Oh, I might need to. All right. Finally got into one. He's about 18 inches. Not a bad guy. I've caught a lot of walleye this week all on accident. And when I went all winter long trying to catch them, couldn't get a one. And can't, now I'm fishing for white bass and catching walleye. I had a sauger on earlier that fell off. Kind of disappointed me, but it did. And uh, I, so I knew right away they would be biting. And it's during the middle of the day and sunny as can be. I don't know where the white bass are or why they're not in here because it really makes no sense. This is usually full of white bass every year by the hundreds of thousands. All right, I'm keeping him because I injured it. I need to put some water in here for him. crankbait. Well, it's a start. I've had a terrible two hours and I uh, haven't really had any luck. And that's the last thing I expected, to be honest. <sighs> that's a nice surprise, though.
Guys, I don't know what it is, but I'm hoping it's a white bass or a walleye. It's nice, whatever it is, it's real nice, real big. It's a big walleye on the crankbait. That's too, oh my God. This is my personal bet. No, it's a white bass. It's a big one too. Why did I, I don't know, I seen white, a white tail and I thought I had a walleye again. Boy, that's a big old female white bass too. I'm telling you folks. I've been here three hours. They just now started biting. I have cast over and over and all I caught was that walleye. Yes, look at that, a big old two pound white bass. Probably, I bet this damn thing is 18 inches. Actually, he's three pounds. It's a good 18 inches long, which is about as big as they get. Wow, there we go. Finally, it paid off. Yes, they're on the side of this rapid. And I'm gonna need my pliers. Unfortunately, maybe not. Try not to have to use them. There we go. All right, folks, my biggest white bass of the year and only white bass of the year. Wow, what a beauty. That's what I came here for. And unfortunately, she's supposed to be here in 15 minutes. Well, I got news for her. She's gonna be standing on the bank watching me fish because I'm not stopping now. If I gotta stay up and get hardly any sleep to go to work, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, yeah. Woo! Yes! All right, a walleye and a white bass. Good variety starting now. Boy, that thing put up a fight. I mean a big fight. They are some, for their size, I guess because of them being football shaped, they really have some backbone to them. I mean, they, they are some hard fighters, that's for sure. It's a full moon and tonight the sun set and the moon rises at a, almost exactly the same time, like 17 minutes apart. So I knew right away when I got here, it, it would be real good at the last hour before dark. And I'm gonna really try to convince her to stay a little while. I, I'll be tired at work tomorrow, but it's worth it. There we go, yes, another white bass, folks. I can tell by the way it's fighting. It's another big 17, maybe 18, at least, yeah. Oh yeah, it's big. Oh man, oh yeah. It's a white, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, the bandit never lets me down. It never does. It may go a little while without getting a bite, but when I get one, it's a always a decent one. Oh yeah. Whew. That's what I'm talking about. He's not as big as I thought, but he's he is 15 or 16 anyway. And he's not tired. Oh boy, come here. Come here you. Oh boy, that is a fat female though. Boy, oh that's a hoss. This is fatter than the last one I just caught. That is a beauty. These are some nice white bass. It's a shame that I have to go to work tomorrow and start missing out on all this fun. And then the thing is by this weekend, they could be done. We are having a late spring, but they, they are very short, their run. It's usually no more than two weeks long. And they may have already been biting for the last two to, couple days, so I don't know. Wow, let's get another one. Oh boy. I'm just gonna paddle back over there. Back in this corner, I knew it. Something told me to 
fish back here. The rapids is just too hard to fish right now. Wow. It was back during the flood of 95. Me and my buddy Eric had went to a small creek, a tributary of the Mississippi River, and it was pushed back and really high, but not, not due to rains that we had from around there. It was because the Mississippi River was pushing it back. So it was really high and clear. And we went back about 12 miles away from the Mississippi, about as far as they were up there, where it was just started turning into honey holes again. And let me tell you guys, we had so many that we could not even carry them. We had about 60 of them things, that are our max out limit. We had about 30 a piece and every one of them was two to four pounds. They were absolute giants. We caught them on rattle traps that day, uh, silver rattle traps, and uh, using a stop and go method. I'll never forget that day. I was hooked ever since then on white bass. They are just, they're a fun fish to catch. They're not highly sought after by most people, but they are, they, uh, they should be because they're a lot of fun. There he is, there he is, oh yes. This is not, this is a bowfin. Oh my gosh, it's a big bowfin. He's gonna get, as soon as he sees me, he's gonna take off. Oh yeah. Oh, I don't really want one, but hey. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh boy, big bowfin. Seven, eight pounder, my goodness. Wow. I don't know how I'm gonna get him up, boy. Well, not what I'm after. Boy, if this was just a walleye, that would really be cool. <laughs> that is a, it's a pretty bowfin though. I gotta give it credit. It's not a, it's a clean water bowfin, not one of the nasty ditches. My goodness. He probably just scared all the rest of the fish away though, for a little bit. When they're, when both fin are spawning, they get these green fins. They look actually pretty cool when they're, he's got a green, almost like a toothpaste color to his fins right here. Oh my, oh boy. Not, not an easy fish to grab at all. I'm gonna keep him in the canoe for her to see, I guess. My goodness. He is just, every time I think I'm getting close to getting him, I'm wrong. I almost had him. Oh boy. Yeah, if this could have just been a walleye, it would have been my biggest ever. It would have been about eight pounds. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Get in here. Little bastard. Oh my goodness. Wow, what a fish. All right, that's three different kinds for me. And I'm gonna have to say he's definitely, I'm gonna need pliers with this guy. I might as well just get him out. if I don't ruin my crankbait. <sighs> I'm 
good God. What a fish, folks. That is a huge bowfin. He's, he's bigger than I thought he was. Oh, I'm going to try to hold him up and show you guys just so I can get a good video of him. Oh, oh boy. Oh, yeah. Look at that bowfin, folks. What a beauty. He's a little smaller than I thought. He's good six pounds, though. Wow. What a fish. What a fish. My goodness. What a beauty. It's kind of something cool and different, I guess. <sighs> Too bad they're not edible. Because he would have been a meal in itself. There we go. I'm into something here. Oh yeah, that's a nice one too. It's a drum, man. Dang it. Well, it's a fish though. It's a drum, unfortunately. But, it's a different kind, I guess. Alright folks, freshwater drum. I'm going to put him back. I think worth keeping them. Actually, that woman might want it, I guess. The friend, friend my girlfriend is with might want it. There we go. Oh, it's a gar. I finally hooked one. <laughs> All right, folks, long nose gar. I'm just gonna get him off with the pliers here on the side. I don't want to hold him. They they damage your skin too much. It really hurt. Boy. little bitty one anyway. If it was big, I'd hold it, but I'm just going to take him off. There we go. 